This sucker is absolutely nasty though. Damn sure he got an oak door tag. That's where I live at. That's crazy how I ain't never seen it. I ain't never even seen that car. That mug clean though. Perfect wheel setup. What so what's this one? What's this one got? It's so it's already got an engine took out. We got a motor for it. Somebody LS swapped it. And we got the see how they done the mounts? Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah. If you got anybody no on the channel, way, LS, boy. do not do this. That is terrible. And they cut the brake lines and all off. We oh got Oh my god, it's not that hard to drop control arm if you can't get the bolts out for the engine mounts. Man, it's not that hard to just cut the head off instead of doing that. Yeah. Thing. I think this is actually from around making 28s. So, this guy with this red OBS truck might be putting the or already put a 454 in it. It's, all right, so he put a 454 in it out of like a 454 SS truck. That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing with my red 93 Tampa Red. Take the 454 out of the blue dually and when we LS swap it, kind of the same idea that I was having. Have been thinking about letting Frank go through the 454. Get it right. What's going on, man? Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, he put the, the computer and everything and they actually got the dash, if you look at the inside. Yeah? Yeah, he changed the dash. So this is a 90, yeah, this is an 88 to 94. Then he put the dash in, wow. This is actually a 92. Damn. Yeah, that's kind of the same idea I had, man. Take it, take my Gen 6 454 out. And, and and bring everything over, everything that's not needed, bring it out of that 2000 dually. Well, see, we'll put, we convert the carburetor, we'll put MSD on it, so we'll bypass the computer as far as that. All we'll use the computer for is the transmission. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick. This truck is in pretty good shape, too. Man, look at all this. It's just nasty classics out here. Classic after classic. Ooh, wait, I seen that truck before. I think that dude is from... Mate, oh, where this dude from? Oh, Madison. Madison, yeah, I seen that truck before. Dale, you know what the guy from the car? That's a wrap, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what they say. Yeah. yeah. Let me see your man. man. That makes some good wheels, man. Man, that's nice, man. I got these for my truck. I'm gonna go four headlight. I, that's my favorite setup on these old trucks. The four glass lights. That's one of them deals with Follow a jam up motor from somebody that makes it jam up. Damn. Hustling backwards is what I call it. Instead of hustling backwards, why they just don't hustle hard, ain't it right? That's exactly right. <laughs> Get right to start with. Yes, sir. One day they'll learn, huh? Maybe they don't look at social media enough to, to, to know they need to go in and bring it to hustle hard to, to start with. Give uh, it yeah, about two minutes and you can have your some noise for you. Yeah, Frank, you got you some nice brand new tools over here. Time's off. Man. Means I got to work for. Yeah, man, Walker got some nice stuff now. <laughs> Good. I sound damn good. 
Well, you be cranking them out, don't you, Frank? How we eat? Get them in and crank them out. Turn them up. We don't get them out. We got, can't eat. We got to eat. I hear that. And you tell me a big boy like me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Damn, boy, you got an extensive uh, pile of dry shafts right here. We had about twice that many, and we used them up. Wow. Mm. All right, man. Well, as y'all can see, man, some excellent work going on here. Hustle hard performance. Soperton. Hey, is it Soperton or Soperton? Soperton, Georgia. Hustle hard performance, man. Y'all hit him up on Facebook. He'll get you squared away. We out of here. Oh, yeah. I meant to tell y'all. This is what I'm out here for. Had to bring this one back. Had a small issue with it. Um, it was running great. And then something happened. And now it won't stay running. So I'm not exactly sure. It didn't crank yesterday. Uh, when I tried to load it, I had to use the winch. So that's why it's back out here. Um, but they'll get it right. Old Frank gonna get it right, man. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm finna head. Actually, I gotta go get a skid steer. But uh, yeah, man, that's a bad boy right there. Damn, that thing look good. Anyway, we out of here, man. Peace. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy. What we got here? They want to get that sneak peek, right? Yeah. They want to get that sneak peek. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that OBS gang? Look at the back. Who is that fella right there? <laughs> Ah. You see that fella right there? Oh, yeah. You ain't even looking at it. Look, man, you ain't even got the camera going in the right I'm way. I'm looking boy. at it with my own eyes. Look at that boy. Y'all forgive Bray. Bray still trying to learn the camera work. No, I'm trying to look at it for myself. You like it that? You like it that much? Yeah. I hear you, boy. I hear you. Yeah, we got him, boy. Hundred and hundred and twenty shirts, I think. We're gonna get these things loaded up, man. We're gonna be ready to rock and roll here. The giveaway finna go live in the break. Oh yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll check in with y'all later on when we get home. Several days later. Alright, what it do, what it do, man. We back at it. Picking up a monstrous vehicle. This is my brother-in-law Wayne. He done bought him a 2000, what is it, 2004? Yeah. 2004 F550. 50 dually man i just realized it's a 550 no. for some reason boy i was thinking it was a 350. no it actually is a 350. oh it got the, it got the, the salvage title on it yeah and i guess he just put those emblems oh uh, or uh, maybe he took or maybe the front end was bad he took it off a of 550. yeah maybe so oh okay i was gonna say whoo so. i could get it but that sucker gonna be heavy <laughs> that's good though that's good damn 550s boy them suckers Paperwork says 350. Good, good. Man, I was finna say, boy, you got a 550 for what you paid, but I was finna say, you stole, you showed up throwing them up. <laughs> that was, that was, I was finna say, God damn, Wayne. We gotta call the police on you, boy. You got uh, you gonna rob that lady. <laughs> it's all good, though. Man. <laughs> That's still a pretty decent price. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It was already a good price. That's what I'm saying. If it had to been a 550, you, boy, good lord, boy. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that's nice right there though, man. That's nice. You can put some weight on that bad boy too. You take him to the shop to get turbos checked out. Okay, some yeah. get, get yeah, some service work. But I, now I don't know, but I know you know. You know, I know you know. When I'm just listening to it, I'm like, man, it sound like turbo running to me. Now, I don't know. Well, he'll check it out for you. Yeah. I mean, have you been up and down the road with it? I have not. Oh damn. I have not, bro. Well, you should have took it up and down the road. I started to buy. If I went to the end, bro, yeah. I was going to want to go for a little bit. Yeah, I feel and I ain't you. never had it registered in that, you know what I'm saying? I feel you, I feel you on that. So you just going, you bought it and you just going to get it checked out just to make sure everything's good. Yeah. Ain't yeah. no problem with that. Yeah. Sure. All right, well, Sue, what we'll do is uh, you can back it up and we'll attempt to drive it on, at least see if it'll pull once it starts going up that ramp. Yeah. You know, we'll see, it should pull itself on. So okay. we'll at least get a little idea of what it can do then. Okay.
Yes, sir. Got them twinkle twos on there. Let's see what this thing. Let's see what this gonna do. You gotta get your overs on. Come slow. Let me get this centered up. Be right back with y'all. All right, we got it on there. That 24 foot, boy, that thing come right on time, boy. Man, this thing got, peep this, y'all. This thing got a compressor on it already. Air horns, straight pipe. With an MBRP tip on the back, man. This thing got some modifications on it already. But you ain't got to do nothing to this bad boy. But get it on the road, ain't right? Get on the road, bro. Yes, sir. Okay. I'ma throw some straps on this bad boy. We're gonna take it around the corner and get it checked out. Hey, I hope to see this thing on the road soon. Real here Graham diesel repair he did some work on my truck that thing need a wash boy get a wash oh, I like that bed cover too I didn't even notice that earlier yeah that's gonna be sick Yeah, that sucker got some work done there. Bigger turbo or same? Uh, almost like stock. It is. Dang. It's just stock gear. Yeah, that bed cover is sick. Wayne, boy, you got you some here, boy. As long as the engine checks out. Hey. I'm a light on it. Yeah, get your light. I can tell if it's been studded. 
Oh shit, I didn't realize the fucking Mishimoto radiator. Yeah, this thing got some got some work done to it for sure. All right, man. Y'all take it easy. All right. Hey, make this thing growl a little when we take off. All right. <laughs> All right, we're finna go uh, run to, uh, I gotta run home and get the small trailer and then go pick up a car and uh, winder that's going to Covington where Big Z live because I gotta pull up on Big Z. So why not take a car and make a little bit of money? So stick around for that, man, and we'll be pulling up on Big Z after a while. All right, so uh, the one that I was supposed to get to go out to Big Z's area got revised. The delivery location, nobody was there. He had an unexpected funeral or something to go to. So I pushed that one off to Monday, but it worked out. Luckily, I was able to find another vehicle, which was only 30 minutes from where I dropped that uh, F-350 Dually. So uh, I'm out here in... What the hell is this? Mount Airy, Georgia. Picking this uh, Toyota up. This one's going to uh, my junkyard that I frequent. This thing is paying $350. And I got to take it 30 minutes. $350. So I am uh, pulled up in the grass just so I can kind of be in front of it. It doesn't run. And then once I load it, I just back up. And they said this goes all the way around, so I should be able to get out on that side, hopefully. Yeah, I should be able to swing wide and get out over there. So I'm gonna load this thing up. Uh, I'm in a good position. Once I turn the wheel, it should come straight up. And we're gonna get the hell up out of here, and get back and get this money. I also got some stuff set up for Monday too, man. I got a $500 one set up and a $150 one, the one that go to Big Z. So I already got 650 on tap for Monday, man, and, and I'm gonna try to set some more up. So it's it's going well, man. They, they always say Christmas and Thanksgiving is slow, and after that, boy, it start booming, and it is, it is booming. So let me get this thing loaded, and then uh, we're gonna get up out of here. that bad boy on there i don't know if y'all was able to see it because the time lapse goes so fast but i was trying to turn this wheel so i can get it lined up with the trailer and i couldn't turn the wheel but only so much because this was in it it was you know pushed in on the tire and it wouldn't let the tire turn so i was like damn i tried to pull it by hand it's you know strong it's metal so uh i unhooked that hooked it in right here and pulled it out i mean it's already damaged anyway so Pulled it out, got it off the tire. I was able to turn the tire and line it up and get it on there, man. So always be aware of all the tools you got in your arsenal, man. I won't let that stop me. But uh, yeah, we gotta take this thing 30 minutes and that's light work. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after that. I'm gonna try to find, it's like, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? 146 so it's still early so i might be able to get uh get something else done today y'all see that headset the wife got me that boy i'm a real trucker now boy <laughs> i like it too man i think you can hear good out of it it is as advertised man they say you can hear real good you definitely can so i'm gonna get out of here i don't know what's next hopefully i can bring y'all something else stick around man we'll holler y'all later